Hello everybody, today I decided to make a very last minute video because you can hear in the background I have my sausage cooking. So let's just hop right into what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna be making egg white like muffin bites, like the little like cup bites. So uh, what you need is egg whites, sausage, uh, green pepper, but they didn't have any, so I got orange, onion, salt and pepper. It's so easy, I can't wait to show you guys how to do this. So. I'll come back after I have all my stuff prepped just so we can get a move on. Because I, I, I thought I was like, oh my gosh, I should make a video of this. And I ran and got my stuff while this sausage was cooking. So, BRB. Alright, so my sausage has got done. Really hot. You want it to look like this, like grounds. Because it's going to be sprinkled in to the egg white mixture. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start cutting up my stuff. And I'll show you how I what like size I cut those up to and then we'll hop into how we're gonna mix it all together so I cut my onions up pretty big because I like onions like I like to taste them so people usually dice them up about this then I actually had uh, zero method so moral of the story is I did half an onion um, for this recipe and I think that with this one I'm not gonna be giving you like direct measurements on everything because I think with this one, you kind of just have to go off what you like. Look, if you like a lot of onion, put a lot of onion in it. If not, if not. But I will say there are measurements technically for the egg whites. I got 16 ounces, I believe. I'll check whenever we go back to them. But um, for the egg whites, you are going to want to get a certain amount so that it fits all of your vegetables and sausage. So uh, I'll be back after I'm done cutting up this. And then after I'm done cutting up this, we're going to mix all the stuff together and put it in our tin. Okay. Now we have all this stuff in a big bowl. Um, we have the sausage. I just put like about half the sausage in. I put the whole bell pepper in and I put half an onion in. So whatever that measures out to, that's what I'm putting in for now. So next, liquid egg whites. I bought the cart and this says it's equal to 20 eggs. Um, I actually lied. This is 32 ounces, not 16. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dump these into... Uh, this bowl and mix all around I'm not dumping the whole thing for the record try shake this no don't dumping it in I'm dumping it in until I can kind of see everything kind of like levitating you know and I like to keep extra because the way that we're gonna put this into the the way that we're gonna put this into the muffin tin is that we're gonna scoop it into it and Sometimes the egg white gets left behind, so I have to kind of fill it up a little bit more. But, you know, what we are going to do is we're going to put our salt and pepper in. This, once again, no measurements, just measure with your heart. So, time for the muffin tin. So, we're using this. I thought I had two, but I only have one of this size, I believe. Let me look again. Okay, so I only have one this size. So, we're only going to be using one. And if I have mixture left over, I'm going to take them out put more in bake them again so I also didn't for, uh forgot to preheat the oven so that's just amazing but anyway so we're gonna take our we're gonna take our cooking spray we're gonna spray all the cups done and then we're going to start spooning the mixture in and here's where it gets difficult because we're gonna spoon it in but the egg whites but the egg whites are gonna like not be picked up all the way by the spoon you know what I mean so like Anyways, moral of the story is we're going to spoon all this mixture in and hopefully get the egg whites in there. So, I'm going to do that. I'll show you what it looks like. Two things. After further inspection, we're supposed to put uh, spinach in this. So, I'm going to cut up some spinach. You like finely chop it. I'm going to put it over top of this batch that I just put in here. And then I'm going to mix it in with the rest of the mixture that I have. So, let's just continue on. Um, so this is what we have. Notice how there's not really egg whites in it. Because, what, like I said, it's kind of hard to spoon it in. So I think that the best way to... I just dropped my spoon in the bowl, so that's just amazing. Anyways, um, I think the best way to do it is to fill it up about halfway, maybe even a little more. And then dump what egg whites on top of it. Rather than to just uh, make a big mess. So, so I'm going to dump the egg whites on top of this. And then we're going to bake them. So I put the... I lost the recipe that I was using once again 
Um, so I put it on 350 and we're gonna bake them for about seven minutes. I think that's how long it was because I think I remember Surprise I made these before but um, I think whenever I made them the first time it was like very short amount of time So I'm gonna try seven minutes and then if it needs more it needs more But I will report back so I'm not telling you something now and telling you something else later So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back with this batch and the final results after I get the um, spinach in here I'm gonna show you how I'm cutting up this spinach. So I'm like taking a couple leaves, lining them up, rolling them like in like a little circle, kind of twist them, but not so hard that they break. And then I'm just cutting like this. Um, if that's not the right way to how to do it, I don't even care. Um, I honestly don't know why anybody's here watching this video because I just do stuff how I want to. All right, here they are. It's still really hot, so I can't hold them up too well but that's what they look like um I ended up doing it for around 20 minutes and I don't know why it took so long this time but it did and I don't know I don't know it ended up just taking forever so uh like I said before I already tried these like I've already made them before and I knew I liked them I just wanted to come here and show you guys how to make them because I think it's pretty good recipe so um so yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this i know it was kind of short i'm sorry about that it's kind of boring too not too much going on but um super simple easy i guess it takes 20 minutes i would watch it i would put it in for 350 and kind of watch how it cooks and then decide for yourself like maybe put it in for like 10 and then look and be like yeah that's still a lot another 10 so that's my method so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys again soon